drop it. New Year, New Supplement Routine? If you've started 2018 with a diet or exercise plan that involves vitamins, herbs, shakes, or pills, the National Institutes of Health NIH, has a message for you, check the research first. Not all weight loss supplements or fitness supplements have been shown to work, experts say, and some may even be dangerous. To help out curious consumers, the NIH's Office of Dietary Supplements ODS, has created two easy-to-use fact sheets. Available on the ODS website, the fact sheets lay out the effectiveness and safety of many different supplement products, and the ingredients within them. It's January and people are making resolutions about their overall health and weight and fitness, says Paul Thomas, nutrition scientist for the ODS and author of the new fact sheets. We thought it was a nice time to emphasize that we have these fact sheets that may be useful for people who are considering whether or not these supplements may be of value for achieving their goals. One of the fact sheets, titled Dietary Supplements for Exercise and Athletic Performance, covers more than 20 common supplement ingredients that have been purported to improve strength or endurance, increase exercise efficiency, achieve a fitness goal more quickly, or increase tolerance for intense training. Products containing these ingredients are sometimes called ergogenic aids and are often sold in drug stores, organic food stores, and fitness clubs. Research shows that some of these ingredients may be helpful in specific circumstances, 